Go ahead, please. Hello? Darling. That's louder, honey. I can't hear you. Uh, can you hear me now? No, no I can't. You just have to talk real loud. All right. I would like to do two things about Walter. Uh, I would like to offer him uh, the number two job at KTBC. Do you hear me? I wouldn't do anything along that line now. I just let them know generally through Tom that they have no problem in that connection. Go ahead, next. I, I don't think that's right. Uh, second, uh, when questioned, and I will be questioned, I'm going to say that this is incredible for a man that I've known all these years, a devout Catholic, the father of six children, a happily married husband. It can only be a small uh, a period of, of a nervous breakdown balanced against. I wouldn't say anything. I'd have a, uh, I just wouldn't be available for anything because it's not something for you to get involved in now. And we're trying to work that out with the best minds that we have working on it. And Eddie Wise was on the way down there today. And whatever you do, don't do anything right. Talk to Eddie and Clark and Abe. I feel it's stronger than you do, but I don't want you to hurt him more than he's hurt. And when we move into it, we do, we do that. We blow it up more and get it more all right, uh, I think if we don't express some support to him, I think that we will lose the entire love and devotion of all the people uh, who have been with us, or so drain them. Well, you get a hold of Clark and Abe and them and tell them how you feel about that, and see, you see what advice I'm getting, and I'm late now, and I'm going make three speeches and you can imagine what shape I'm in to do it. So don't create any more problems than I've got. Uh, talk to them about it. Anything you can get them to approve, let me know. All right. Uh, Abe approves of the job offer. Abe approves of the statement. What? Abe approves of the job offer. Abe approves of such a statement when questioned. Well, talk to Clark. I must say that Clark does not approve of the latter. I think that you ought to let them know. I don't see any reason to know publicly, because then you become, you confirm it, you approve it, you're part of it, everything else. You just can't do that to the presidency, honey. I wouldn't do anything. Uh, I would try to get Abe and Clark to let me talk to Ms. Jenkins. And I think we ought to do that. I think you ought to tell him, and I think I ought to call him. All right, she's called me this morning, honey. Yes, yeah, what did she say? Uh, she is uh, so hysterical and so bitter uh, that uh, I just, uh, that uh, it's just, it's, it's, it's dreadful. She feels that her life is ruined, that their life is ruined, and it's all been laid on the altar of, uh, of working for us. Was she angry at us? Yes. You see, she doesn't believe any of this. She believes it's a framed, put-up job. Well, I think somebody better go talk to her and tell her the facts. And I think maybe he ought to. Uh... Well, I'm, I'm going to join you this afternoon at 5.30. Uh, I, I will try to be discreet, but I, it is my strong feeling that a gesture of support to Walter on our part is best. I'd make all the gestures I could, but I don't think that I would put myself in the position of defending what we say in the public in a situation like this because we just can't win it. The average farmer just can't understand uh, your knowing it and approving it. Our condoning. 
anymore, and again, Atchison uh, not turning his back. Would you, are you unalterably opposed to the job offer? I am publicly. I'm not unalterably opposed to giving him anything and everything we have, all of it. And let him know it through Tom and through Abe and through you. But I see no reason why I ought to be tried again uh, and blow it up and make the headlines that I, I gave him advancement because he did this. Uh, and I don't think that you'd have a license five minutes for the station being operated for someone like that. Uh, what about getting Ray Howard uh, to make a, a public, uh, make public uh, a job offer in Walter's hometown? If he would. I just don't think he would do that. I don't think the job is the important thing. I think we can... The, the finances is the minimum thing, honey. I think a gesture of support on some of our part is uh, is necessary to hold our own forces together. Well, talk to Abe and Clark about it, and and um, my poor darling, my heart breaks for you too. Well, I know it, honey, and uh, and uh, I guess I'll and I I suppose I'll I'll let you go now. But if I get questioned, what I'm going to say uh, is that uh, I. I, I cannot believe this picture that's put before me of uh, this, this man uh, whom I've known all these years, uh, and, and you've heard the adjectives I use. Does, uh, uh, this, does he this, know that he walked in after he left the Newsweek party voluntarily in the YMCA? Do I know that? Does she know it? I'm, I'm not sure that she does. Don't you think Tom ought to tell her or Abe right quick? I told him to do that yesterday. I believe that they have told her. I I'm, I'm do not know, but I don't know. Oh, they were all afraid to tell her. And I think she ought to know the truth. She's got to know the truth, and he's got to tell her. Abe ought to get him to tell her the truth. And uh, I think they ought to tell her what happened there. I think that's the first thing that's got to be done so she can understand. The second thing got to be done, they've got to tell her whatever we have, they have. And let's ride this thing out for two weeks. But the other side's not their friend. And even if they doubt we are, they'll have to, uh, have to understand. Does she doubt that we are? Uh, yes. What did she say we ought to do? Uh, she just said, you've, you've, you've ruined my life and you've ruined my husband's life, and uh, what am I going to tell my children? Well, how did we ruin it? Honey, uh, she is, uh, she just sees her life being ruined around her, and she's got to, she's got to reach out and, uh, and lash at somebody. And she thinks it was uh, uh, overwork and overstrain, uh, and uh, that caused him to do whatever he did. Well, I think I think that that's conceivable. I and think that's likely. But I didn't take him to cocktail party, and I, I didn't get him tired, and I didn't know it, and I never asked him to work any time that he didn't want to. Somebody's got to give her the other side. You better see. That's why I said you ought to go out last night. They wouldn't allow that. That's why I told Abe you ought to go out. He wouldn't do that. So Abe or Eddie Wise or some of them better go see her this morning. Because you know she'll be talking to paper. Uh, she will, darling. What? And I, and I, all right, then, if you don't mind me going to see her, I, if I can get the uh, company of somebody like Ed Wise or... Uh, or uh, or Tom Cochran or anybody, I will. I don't think I would go. I think I'd talk to her again, tell them you asked them to come because that just blows her up real up in the picture. I don't think you realize the First Lady can't be doing it.
I've got to go there holding the plane with the mayor and everybody on it. All right. We're an hour late now. My and... love, my love, I pray for you along with Walter. Goodbye. And I, I think I would uh, get Abe at right quick and Clark and have Abe go see her if he could. I have her priest go talk to her. All right. You, you're a brave, good guy. And if, if you read where I've said some things in Walter's support, they'll be along the line that I've just said to you. You think I ought to call her? Uh, yes, I do. I do. I, I, I think we, I think we ought to offer uh, support uh, in, in every, any way we can. Well, why don't you talk to them and try to call her and tell her I'm in the plane? But I, I called you and asked you to, to call her and see if they won't clear you're doing it and tell them anything we have, they have. And you can't put them with the station with the life. Do you understand that? I hear you when you say it, but I just almost rather make uh, offer to do it and then let the license go down the drain. Well, but that doesn't do anybody any good, does it? Offer them something else, running the range. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. And uh, uh, that's what he's getting. And tell her that. And have them tell him that. Better get Tom out there right away, though. All right. Uh, okay. Goodbye, my beloved. Waiting, waiting. 